Okay, it's a beautiful morning here. What is it? June, uh, June twelfth. June twelfth. Yeah, I really don't know. The linear time is just not. It doesn't. It's not our thing. Anyway, yeah, that's right. Uh, this is Luke. Maybe everybody knows that. Anyway, my brother, and uh, and Andrew here. We're the we're the grit behind the glamour of, of this operation. So what I want to do here right now is is uh, just discuss how technology has affected agriculture. So it's kind of cool. You've got like a primary industry like agriculture, which has been done for thousands, tens of thousands of years, ten thousand years exactly. And uh, it's a primary industry, and you've got your hands in the dirt and all that stuff. But that cutting edge technology is affecting what we do, and, and, it, and it is with our farm specifically too. So one of the main things that uh, that is new in the past 10 years is uh, using GPS. You probably heard farmers talk about GPS technology, and maybe some of you wonder, well, what do they use GPS for? So I'm going to show you what we're doing here. So switch around and we've showed you these before these are our beds our raised beds that's what makes our planting system a little unique from what some of the other broccoli people are doing in the province and uh, we need to make these exactly the same distance apart so when our harvester comes in it has to be exactly in the row and it spans like close to 30 rows so if it's not perfectly um, spaced then you're just going to be driving on broccoli plants so we need this GPS so here it is so Luke is trying to roughly sight out where he's going to get to and then see I'm going to have to reach my hand over him it's a little map that we get you can hear some beeping going on and see if you can see there's a little number here that basically says he's five inches he has to go five inches to the right so just kind of play with it a little bit, get roughly in, and pretty soon it's going to turn green on the top there. You can barely see it. It's turned green there. Now that little beep means that the computer caught onto it and we engaged it. Now we're we're in. We're tracking online. You can see it gives us a little map. So once he gets going, you can see. Look at that. The tractor's steering itself. And uh, yeah, no hands. Look, mom, no hands. So it's pretty amazing. So. If I'm no, Luke, he's here in the wheel, but I've done this before. When I'm the one doing it, I can get right out. You can even make observations and get out of the tractor. I'm not going to recommend that, but you could do it if you had to. And it uh, it totally steers itself. And there's a few little jigs here and there, just because uh, the soil pulls you and a rock pulls you, or you got some wet areas or whatever. But. Uh, it's pretty neat that it can uh, it can just do that on its own. My grandfather probably would not have any use for it whatsoever, but uh, it's something that we have to do. Like I said, when we get our before we developed uh, before we implemented the GPS, we would uh, have our harvester in here, and one set of wheels would be perfectly in the track. The other set of wheels is perfectly on the broccoli, so it's just impossible to uh, to make it work without without this GPS. So. There you have it, and now you know.